Hey guys, Sark here from Sark eTech and in today's video I'm going to be showing you a new change on Samsung One UI 3.0 with Android 11 compared to the older versions of One UI. So real quick, if I go to my settings over here and go all the way down, if I go into my about phone and software information, you'll see we have One UI 3.0 Android 11 right here. And of course, on this phone, what we have, if I go into my software information, is we have One UI 2.5 with Android 10. Now, in this video, I want to specifically talk about the Bixby routines. If you want to see all the changes, I'll drop the link to the video that covers all the new features of One UI 3.0 down below. Now, let's go to the settings, okay? And I'm going to go into my Bixby routines option. So, we're going to scroll down to advanced features. Okay, and we're going to scroll down to advanced features here as well. When I go to my Bixby routines, immediately you're going to see a brand new interface. So let me go to Discover tab. So that's the Discover tab and that's the Discover tab. Now over here we have the Add Routine tab. Okay, normally we have the Add Routine tab on the top here. I can tap on plus here and that goes to the add routine tab and then at the bottom we have the my routine options this is where you end up seeing the routines that you create yourself so again we have a graphical illustration here we don't have it here if you want to add a routine over here you go to add a routine and you have a much more sensible presentation right over here uh, on here if I wanted to add something I would say plus and I would only see the if statement, but here it actually shows you if and then. So basically saying if this happens, then do this. With this one, you would have to add some trigger. Let's just add a trigger here, time, okay? Then you tap on next, and then you're gonna see the then, then option. Here it is illustrated right over here. So now the presentation is much more clear. On top of that, let me show you one more thing. If I do tap on plus, and if I do say, let's just tap this option, you'll notice that the if and the then are always visible on the screen as you're adding a routine. Uh, over here, you first add it, and then you go forward, let's use this one, then you tap on next, then you see then, but here you see if and then at all times on the screen. Let's just use this over here, tap on this one, click on done. Okay, just an example here. So if then is fully visible. And at the bottom, you're gonna see when routine ends, reverse all the actions. So that's great. It is giving you more feedback as to exactly what's happening, okay? This is gonna be great for people that haven't used these before. It is now much more user friendly. Now there's one final change here in the Bixby routines interface. If I tap over here, go into my settings, and if I tap over here and go into my settings, there's a new option. This one says, if a routine is running at any given time, you'll see it on the lock screen as well, which makes sense. With this one, you're not gonna see it. You'll only see it in the notifications panel. When you pull this down, you'll see it in the notifications panel. With this one, you'll see the actual routine showcasing itself on the lock screen. So that's a small change, a visual presentational change that makes much more sense on One UI 3.0. Again, if you wanna watch the full video with 25 plus new changes to One UI 3.0, I'll drop a link down below. You can go check that video out if you are curious. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below, let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right? Now, I do wanna give a quick shout out to Yash Agarwal for bringing this tip to my attention. If you guys have any tips and tricks, just send them to my Twitter via a DM. We'll make a video and you'll get a shout out. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.